Hi, my name is Whitney Boateng. I work at Metropolis Music Promotions and I'm a junior booker. As a new artist, I think you should think about gigging when you believe you have a fan base to perform to. That doesn't necessarily need to be 300 people, it could be 50. When you believe you can perform to people, then you should, I'd say, go for it. Like, just feel out your fan base. That's always the most important thing as an artist, going live to your fan base. I personally just go with who I really feel at the time. It's a combination of artists that I really like plus if they are selling their shows basically or if I feel like they will sell their shows. Again it's about fan base. Um, where this artist or acts fans will fit and it's not too undersold or oversold, so it's, it's kind of like a play by ear. If I feel like you can sell up to 250, I then look, okay, 250, this area, ETC. So it, it's really based on fan base. Yeah. Be visible. Perform in as many places as you can, do as many open mics as you can, be visible. That's the advice I give you. Your visibility will spread the news, depending on if you're good. Visibility, wherever you're selling your merch, make sure people know that it's being sold online, at your show, wherever, and don't um, make too much merch because you always need to test the waters with everything you do. So I would say if you're going to make merch, throw a feeler on your social media, see if people are actually going to want to buy your merch, you know, and go from there. Make enough, make it visible. Being quick, I'd say, because, you know, there are other promoters and agents and there's always people quicker than you. So I feel like the biggest challenge for me is being quick first one to get to an act and if I'm not the first one to then make sure I have enough to offer if they've been offered elsewhere so my big challenge is being quick. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe to Everything Urban Development.